In our last video, we showed you a cool trick for cutting perfect holes in any sink cabinet and how to install the new water valves. If you missed it, check out the links in the description below or the card at the end of the video. In today's video, we'll go over creative ways to construct the dishwasher enclosure, which must support the weight of a granite countertop because it's located at the very end of the cabinets. What I'm about to demonstrate is undoubtedly not a traditional approach, and it's probably not the most affordable, but it worked really well and I would suggest it as a good alternative to anyone tackling an Ikea kitchen install on their own. I'm not going to keep you in suspense and give up the goods up front, but you have to promise to watch the video till the end. Hit the like button right now if you agree to those terms. What we have here is an extra 30 inch cabinet we ordered for this project. This is what it looks like put together for its intended purposes as a base cabinet. But for our needs, we made the following modification. First, we removed the backer. Next, we relocated and attached the support rails in the back of the cabinet. And then we flipped the cabinet over and installed the wall mounting hardware into pre-drilled holes at the new top of the cabinet. Here's what it looks like from the inside of the cabinet and here's the back. We hung the cabinet on the rail and inserted the dishwasher machine to make sure it would fit in the cabinet height wise. All the base cabinets need to be leveled next. You're probably wondering what I'm doing on the ground. Well this is how you level IKEA kitchen cabinets. They have these little feet that you turn to adjust the level height. We level the sink cabinet first because we're using it as a reference. Make sure the cabinets are level front to back and side to side when you're leveling your cabinets. When the sink cabinet was leveled, we clamped the dishwasher cabinet to the sink cabinet and fastened them together with four connecting screws included with the cabinet hardware. After adjusting the cabinet to its final height, we took out the dishwasher and started cutting out the front supports. We decided to use eight foot long strips of oak that is one and a half by one and a half inches, which we cut in half at the store for easy easier transportation, and we will later trim it to the proper size for the front supports. We positioned the strip in front of the cabinet and marked it from the inside where to trim the piece in order to get the support to the right height. We repeated these steps on the opposite side to ensure that we have the exact height on both sides to keep the cabinets level in case the floor tile we laid in a prior video is not perfectly level. Both supports were cut to size and the right one is clamped to the inside of the cabinet to keep it upright and prevent any movement while being secured by screws. We used five specs number eight two and a half inch screws which is probably overkill but it's better to be safe than sorry. To avoid issues securing the front trim pieces later on keep the strips flush with the outside edge of the cabinet. On the left support strip, we followed the same steps but used 2 inch screws to secure it. Using shorter screws prevents protrusions through the support strips. By securing support strips from the outside of the cabinet, we ensure the strongest hold possible. We don't have to worry about screws being visible because we're installing a cover panel to the left of our cabinet for a nice finished look. Speaking of the cover panel, I did not record that step but it's pretty basic. We used the table saw to cut the panel to height for the cabinet and attached it from the inside with 4 connecting screws. We highly recommend using the connecting screws included with the cabinet to avoid going through the side cover panel. After installing all the support pieces, we inserted the dishwasher to determine the width of the side trim pieces we needed. We placed a piece of tape on the top of the machine and took a measurement for the center line. Following that, we measured the cabinet and marked its center line. This enables us to align the two lines so that the machine is centered in the opening. Then after carefully gauging the sides, we determined that by cutting both of them to the width of 3 inches, we would have just enough space for the door to open and shut without hitting the sides. In an effort to save on materials, we used the other half of the side cover panel for the trim pieces, making sure to cut each one with the factory edge facing out to the outside of the cabinet. Max tip. Using a blade with a lot of teeth is essential when cutting finished panels like these. You may have also noticed that the cut pieces have blue tape on them. That is to help prevent tear out. We performed one final fitting after both pieces have been cut to size, ensuring the doors would open without catching the sides. Max tip. Make sure you seal the cut edges with waterproof paint so they don't collect moisture and swell during use of the dishwasher. The fitment confirmed, we can pull the machine out and proceed with the trim installation. For this step, we secured the right trim piece with clamps against the supporting strip and used several specs 1.5 inch screws to secure it in place. I had to move the clamps several times to be closer to the screws to prevent trim pieces from getting pushed out of place by screws. Here's what the right side looks like from the inside. These screws 
screws secure the trim piece and these secure the wood strips for the cabinet. You can see that we're using shims to raise the right trim piece slightly off the ground. We do this to prevent the trim pieces from accidentally being damaged by moisture in case there is a spill in the future. With the height set by the shim, we repeat the same steps on the left side. Attach the clamps and secure the trim pieces with one and a half inch screws from the inside. You have to be very careful in this step not to put the screws through the trim piece. With the support strip and the screw being one and a half inches, you have to slightly recess the screw to secure the trim piece without damaging the front of it. With both trim pieces installed, it's finally time to install the dishwasher and check out the final product. It turned out pretty good in my opinion. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. Please leave your feedback or questions in the comments below. I read all of them. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to be there for the next one. Take care of yourself, your family, and most importantly, have a great day.